Hello, hello, this is Sonrex76, and I am playing the Alpha of Star Citizen! This game, this beautiful, beautiful game. Look at it. And this is my ship at 315P. It's an exploring ship. With only two guns. Should probably have checked that before I bought it, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Too slow, but I think powerful guns. Oh, yeah, and uh, if you're wondering what Star Citizen is, it's basically a PC game for the PC gaming master race. The master race! Anyhow, this is the max settings. And it looks freaking beautiful, but I'm only getting like 40 FPS right now, which is um, not great, if I'm to be honest. I, I have a Titan. So I should probably get better FPS than that, but honestly, for the quality this game has at the moment, everything, the sounds are good, the background noise is good, the freaking floor is awesome, the model looks cool, and the ship, the freaking ship looks AMAZING! So, uh, what I'm going to do in this video is basically just showing off this game because it was so cool. You see, I tried not to throw money at it. For as long as I could. Yeah, that re that lasted for about 10 days and then I had to throw money at it. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't that much money in comparison to what some other people have done, but... I got this thing. Looks awesome. Although it is a bit aerodynamic. Aerodynamic, so it looks like it could be a racer or something on a planet. When you know, really, that's not necessary in space. And this game, it's made to be really realistic. I only have one complaint. There is sound in space. I, I, I know that's much cooler. It's much better, really, from a game perspective. But from a realistic perspective, you don't have sound in space. That's why you have the saying, nobody can hear you scream in space. Or, in space nobody can hear you scream, isn't that the correct version? Anyway, let's get in here. Um, one second. If I... Oh, yeah. If I can find out... Oh, uh, there! There! I knew that! I have actually gone up there before, and the animation in this game... Uber smooth. And the interior... Well done! Looks amazing! Look at it! Just look at it. It's freaking damn fancy, if I'm to be honest. And the graphics that this is using a mod heavily modified Cry Engine. And uh, it's freaking fancy, fancy. Come on, let. Okay, so I can glitch past the share, but you can also sit down in the share. Turn around, and look at the fanciness. It's freaking fancy, if you ask me. And I'm sure you can hear the in-game sounds, so that's awesome. Uh, I'll just have to say this again, this is an alpha. So, uh, yeah, but uh, this is not the only thing you can do, you, it's not just a spaceship you can walk around in and uh, sit in. There's also a social module, and by the way, you can climb down the stairs, I just feel like jumping down every time. But there's a social module, which I can show you parts of. Uh, they basically built the first uh, environment, and oh, this game, it will be a flight simulator. You can already dogfight against other players or a computer. Uh, well, computers, I guess. And uh, it will be an open universe with a functioning economy. In the end, that is. Which will be awesome. And you'll basically be able to buy anything you can buy with real money now. You will be able to buy in-game. It's not supposed to be a... Uh, pay to win and I doubt it will be and they are going for a sheep ton of detail don't you be honest it's like so 
freaking good. It's freaking fancy. Look at this. Just the amount of detail in this simple thing is a stunner. It, it's just stunning. No, I will have to admit I have enabled the 16x um, whatever it is called when you smoothen things out. Not that it really is needed, but it makes it even smoother, so yeah, and without uh, hitting my FS too hard. But I'm going to show you the social module now, before I'll show you some basic how not to dogfight. Because I'm that bad at freaking dogfighting. And I'm serious, I'm that bad. So let's see, I want to go to Arc Corp. Thank you very much. Now, something I'll have to mention is that this game is really good. Hey, let me go. At actually using my GPU and my CPU, both of them are working hard right now to give me those 30 frames per second. We can look outside, you can't go outside yet. That's going to come in a future update, I guess. But this is the social module, so you can socialize with people. Thing. No, that was where I came from. I don't have the best sense of direction. Here's the combo. No, no, bad. Bad door. Bad door. Conduits. And here it's probably going to be a biometric scanning, it looks like, and scanning my ship, so that's going to be cool. The door animation is also awesome. Now, if you notice any lag, it's probably because it drops below the 30 FPS I'm recording in, so I'm sorry for that. Because this game is not very optimized, I would say. I mean, I do have the max settings, and I get acceptable FPS with a Titan. So uh, it's, they are okay, but it's not that optimized. And uh, as you can see, the shadows are quite good. A box. Freaking awesome box. And some piece of art. Look at the art necessity of it. That's not a word, is it? No, it isn't. And the ships flying above us. Yes, the immersion. It's quite cool. They're also going to have a shooter within this. You're going to be able to land and then shoot, shoot other people and stuff. But uh, it's not going to be something you'll do uh, with less you're prepared because um, in this game you can perma die. Perma death is a thing. Although it it's not as simple as you die once you die. It will be a bit more complex than that. This is the bar, which looks kind of cool. And here we have the bartender, looking chill as he is supposed to be. Yep, kind of cool. I have to admit I've never been to a bar, so I have no idea how they look, I've only seen them in movies. I'm not a person who likes to drink. I've never done it really. So, uh, this is a... Well, there is a commercial for clothing on that screen. And airplanes, no, not airplanes, spaceships, big difference. There we have a, the Hornet, which is a ship, so I guess another commercial. And we have awesome water effects. Those are fancy fancy, like real fancy fancy, yes. And the graffiti, like seriously, we have graffiti, which is this detail, well, if you see there, Nope, it's, it's fancy. It's freaking fancy fancy. It's, it's, wow! Look at that! The texture actually bends in the corner. That's that's detail. This too. Like, the garbage here and stuff. It's, in this room, it's... This is detail. This is like... A lot of detail. Lots of detail. So, you're yeah, going for a really immersion. The real immersion and that real deep feel about it. So, something like that. And it is, admittedly, kind of uber awesome, in my opinion. Can you go in here? Nope. Not yet, anyway. And in this game, you'll be able to be whatever you want. Like, you can be, if you want to be a space pirate, killing other players and taking their stuff, you can be. Although, admittedly, you're probably going to be taken by... Well, the authors or something. But, uh, you can be, if you want to. That's kind of cool. Say, um, where's the way out of here? 
my sense of direction is, as mentioned earlier, not uh, ideal. It is almost non-existing, if I'm to be honest. So, yeah. Not everyone can have a perfect sense of direction. And in this game, uh, I mentioned the shooter earlier. I've read uh, some stuff about it, and it's going to be kind of cool. If you get hurt, in an arm as an example, you will be able to use that arm. Or in the leg, you will be able to use that leg, or it will be damaged, and it will be permanent damage, semi-permanent damage, and everything. So, that's kind of awesome. And this is Astro Armada, which is a spaceship seller store. Spaceship store, yes. That's the right word. I can speak. I swear. I also noticed that the surround sound in this game is quite good. You see, I've, I'm really, or, well, I'm actually quite good at uh, localizing sounds in a three-dimensional environment. And I'd have to say that this is actually quite good. I can, I can hear where it is from a lot better than in lots of other games. And here we have a spaceship uh, seller. Looks like uh, the place where you do not buy the fancy fancy ships, but you buy the speedy speedy ships. If I'm to be honest. Astro Armada. That's awesome. Looks fancy fancy. But well, based on him, I would say that would be the case. But based on the area, I would say it was a fan place for fancy fancy ships. It's a place for fancy pantsies to buy fancy pantsy ships. <laughs> yeah, and I know that's not funny. I'm not funny. But I think it's funny. Doesn't really matter, does it? So, yeah. Anyway. Back to hangar. Thank you very much. I'm going to show you a tiny bit of the space simulator now. Well, the, the, the dog fighting simulator. Whatever you want to call it. It's awesome. But I have to warn you. I suck at it. I mean, I, don't take me wrong. I'm now able to drive out of a place without crashing and going upside down like the first time I tried and crashed and yeah. So, yeah. So if you want to actually play this game, you have to buy a package which contains the game. And then you'll have to buy the Alpha Plus, the Arena Commander Pass. Then you have Alpha Access. And then you just go to Electric X after downloading it, and if it is lagging your computer to PEEP, then take away the player to player option, because that will decrease your lag significantly. It, like, it went from like making my computer unusable to almost usable. In other words, I could listen to music and do nothing else, but it was a lot better. Also, the download speed, if it is uber slow, you can try to reload the program, set the limit from unlimited, or cyberspace, that is the setting, to 80 megabytes per second, and it might speed up. Just a couple of tips for you out there. But anyway, after downloading it, after installing it, and after everything, hit escape, go to electronic access, and take on Arena Commander. You do have to have a ship to do this, though. According to what I've heard, anyway. So, then you can take Drone Sim, hone your skills versus cutting-edge drone programs. Or Spectre Match, fly a custom mission with your friends or with thousands of potential friends and foes connected via Acidio.com Relay. Or basic flight planning, really. That's where you learn how to fly. I would recommend going here first! I would also recommend switching over the freaking super bad default commands for flying because cheapest that is not good! <laughs> they, they are so unnatural, I mean I'm sure they are good when you are used to them, but they feel so unnatural at first, so I have changed them. But uh, you'll find out when you try to move and suddenly you're upside down in the hangar. Yes, that had happened to me. Don't ask how. And yes, I should probably have recorded it. I didn't. Sadly. So, uh, Spectre Match. I think is the one I want. Public Match. Uh, uh, 
Palace must reach the target score before scoring the final. Blah 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 blah. Sure are. Why not? Your system operational. Contact. Scan initiated. Contact. Scan initiated. Contact. Alright, let's see. Oh, I'm being shot at. Contact. Control C for changing that. Contact. And let's see. Scan initiated. Alright, there we have missiles. And lots of people. Let's see if we can be killed. Shall we? Oh no, I have all my shields on my front. I'm going to die. Wait. Home button. Contact. Uh, a two, a three, and four. Scan initiated. Scan initiated. And Storm shielding at quarter strength. Contact. Storm shielding. Uh, 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 uh. No. No. How do I? I have to control it now. F on. No. No. What? No. What? The? How do I control this? I'm going to crash. Don't ask me what just happened. <laughs> I, I think I hit the wrong button. Uh, I did not get killed by him. Second mode, second target, four and X. I said X. He spawned! Oh, nice. Ten seconds. Origin jumper. Center service. Core system. Operational. Scan initiated. Contact. Contact. Okay, why can't I do anything? Scan initiated. Um. Let, let me control it now. Let's click now. Contact. Listen to this. I'm clicking. Come on! Okay, I have no idea what that is. That. But anyway. Okay, F1. Um, home. Home. F4. Um. Okay, I can change my camera view. Nice to know. It looks freaking fancy, I would have to say. Not that that's very helpful when I'm trying to stare. Oh, oh, I can stare it again! Yes! I can stare it again. I don't know what it did, but I can stare it again. So that's nice, I guess. Oh, wow. Oh, blacking out, blacking out. Okay, do not take two uh, sharp turns. It's not a good idea. <laughs> Can't see anything. Oh my! Oh my sheepers! <laughs> but I survived! I shall prevail! Though I suck at this game, that's obvious. No sheep! Depleting rapidly. All right. Yeah, but uh, this was Sandrex uh, playing Shields Star Citizen strength. and showing it up, up, off a bit. All right. Star Citizen just stopped working for an obvious reason, so it's an alpha. It's fair enough. Uh, it looks really good so far. Uh, as I said, it looks really good so far, but with, but with a few crashes and stuff. Uh, it looks really fancy, so uh, I would recommend you uh, look at this and uh, at least uh, look around and research a bit on it and uh, check it out. It looks awesome so far. And you don't have to buy one of these, you can buy something bigger, cheaper, more expensive, your choice really. This thing is exp for exploring, but uh, anyway, 
Uh, thanks for watching this uh, video, thanks for checking out Star Citizen, it looks amazing, I would recommend you go to the webpage, I'm going to leave a link uh, down below. So uh, please write, comment and subscribe, have a nice day!